All right, welcome to a new Let's Play. We are going to be playing Stone Shard. Um, this game uh, has just had a new release with electromancy and new magic stuff and fatigue. Uh, I'm going to be playing Adventure Mode without permadeath. Uh, I'm skipping the prologue and the tutorial. I don't think anything's changed there, and it's, uh, I mean, not interesting if you've played it before. And at this point, there's plenty of other people who've played it. Okay, so let's just go ahead and get started. Permadeath mode and adventure mode. So you only get periodic saves on adventure mode anyway. Uh, I'm going to try not to be, like, save scumming or reloading. And permadeath, like, it doesn't matter if you save or anything. You just, when you die, you die. And I'm not that good at the game. So, um, because of the new magic, I'm going to be playing the new magic character. Uh, custom character generation is something that a lot of people have been wanting, but it hasn't been released yet. So... Uh, that is why I'll be doing so the magic user. The caravan is gone. My leg is crippled. Half my men are dead, and the other half are deserters and traitors. The host be praised. At least I've got the stone shard. All right, when there's audio, I will go ahead and let the audio play. If I knew I had to deal with an entire cult of devil knows what, I'd think thrice before getting into the whole mess. I'm too old for an adventure like this. Ah, only I could have a good talk with Gwinnell right now. I'd ask him what the hell is going on. I've been doing this for 30 years, but I've never found myself in such a tough spot. I need to get back to Bryn. I'm not up to going there by myself, so that's why I sent for you. Do you remember how I helped you out back then? Well, time to return the favor. Damn, it's been so long. Tell me, what have you been up to? Yes, here we pick our character. We're going to pick Jonah. Uh, since ancient times, Aldorians held a belief that women and magic don't go well together and can only bode ill. Uh, unfortunately, Jonah had never finished her training. Her mentor's foul temper and grabby hands wasn't something Jonah planned to put up with. If it weren't for the war breaking out, Jonah would likely get caught and burned at the stake, but the chaos of the strife allowed her to disappear by joining a mercenary band. I think you get the picture. Confirm. Is that so? Interesting. Anyway, enough pleasantries. It's time to get to work. Okay. So here's the deal. I can't walk to Bryn with my leg like this. So unless you plan to carry me, we need a cart. We need horses. We're in luck, though. While you were away, I had a talk with the village elder. We came to an agreement. We'll do a couple of tasks for them. And they'll give us a cart and two horses. Don't worry about the job. It's nothing special. I don't think you need my advice on how to deal with brigands or the undead. The Elder will give you the details. You should go see him right away. No time to waste. Ah, I almost forgot. Here's a map of the area. You need it more than I do. You can also ask the innkeeper about local events. He is a talkative kind. I'm sure he'll answer any of your questions. Off you go then. Good luck. All right. First, let's talk to you again. I remember you mentioned some ring. I did. Thanks for reminding me. It should be right here. Yes, there. here you go. Don't lose it. It will come in handy once we get to Bryn. Come in handy how? It's too early for you to know. Just wear it for now or put it somewhere secure. Make sure not to lose it. Can't find another ring like this. Booyah. All right, who is Gwinnell? I'm surprised you've never heard about him. He's a famous alchemist and a former court physician. You won't find a finer scholar to this side of the Aldorian Mountains. Rumor has it King Edbert used to trust him more than his first advisor. Okay, I never heard about any of it. He invented an elixir that did wonders to one's health, and he made a fortune selling it. Then it turned out that the potion had side effects. Some were lucky just to die. Well, it doesn't sound like it was very beneficial to the health, was it? Only His Majesty's patron had saved Gwinnell's life, but he had to abandon his post as a court physician. Since then, he's been trying to figure out what went wrong with the formula. Any questions? See you later. Alright. Put on a ring. Next, let's do our skill ups. Uh, so, Magic Mastery is a new one, I think. Uh, seal of Finesse. Reduce backfire damage by 20%. Okay. Uh, precise movement. Uh, each ability point invested into a specialized magic school grants its spells minus 1% backfire chance remaining 
on the same tile grants minus 5% backfire chance. The effect stacks up to three times. Okay. Uh, dissipation for each point of received magic or nature damage replenishes one energy and grants 1.5% magic and nature resistance for five turns. Seal of Power activates the following for five turns. More magic power, more weapon damage, bonus range for five turns. Energy, cooldown, backfire chance. Uh, casting specialized spells transforms Seal of Power into the seal of a corresponding magic school and prolongs the effect's duration by five turns. Uh, for Electromancy, plus 25% electromantic power, plus 15% weapon damage, delta is shock, minus 5%. Yeah, interesting. Uh, casting magic mastery spells activates the original seal. Okay. Interesting. Uh, let's try it. I'm going to grab seal of power and then in electromancy we're going to learn jolt this is a single target effect uh, and then as opposed to impulse which is range one but target area nine shock damage versus uh, six shock damage resonance Wish I knew what resonance did, but anyway. I'm going to take Jolt for now. Okay, and that takes care of that. Let's go talk to this jabroni. How about a mug of foamy ale? Uh, I have some questions. Any news or rumors? You never heard the story of the three brothers? The eldest sibling joined the magistrate. The middle one went with the council, and the youngest chose the Grey Army. Eventually, fate brought them back together. On the battlefield, the middle brother was cut down by the eldest, who then himself got shot by the youngest. I can't say the youngest survived the battle either. After burying his brothers, he hanged himself on that very spot. How about a mug of ale? I have some questions. Um... Okay, all right. Heard anything interesting? Hmm, interesting. Uh, sometimes he makes you pay money to learn stuff, but I'm okay with just getting out of here. Okay, so first thing, let's go talk to this old drunk. Why don't we get our throats wet to celebrate this meeting, eh? Do you have any work for me? Listen, I have a task. Do you think I like what my life has come to? No. Lost everything just because of his highness' whim. It's haunting me, so I can't put it into words. I need something stronger to forget. Help a lonely, feeble veteran of the three war campaigns. Brandy, a bottle, a cup, a sip. Bring it to me, all right? Deal. I'll be your drug dealer. Why don't we go wet ourselves? See you later. Uh, I don't remember seeing you around here. Mercenary, I suppose. Take a look at what I'm selling. If you ever decide to venture out for a hunt, this stuff might come in handy. How you holding up? All is well? Well, what are you selling? Psygapelt. Throwing net. Yep. Thank you. <laughs> Let's go visit the elder. This is his house. Okay. First, let's go talk to this guy. Are you the new mercenary? I expected someone tougher. You'll have to do, I suppose. I've been told to provide you with equipment. We don't have much in terms of weaponry, but it should suffice. What can I get you? So here, normally I, I'm like, well, give me a ranged weapon, because usually I play melee fighters, um, but you can get other stuff as well. Uh, One-handed weapon. I wonder if this will... I'm. You know what? I'm going to do the hard thing and say thanks, but I'll pass. I already got everything I need. Good to hear. What kind of mercenary wouldn't bring their own weapons anyway? Exactly. Right? Hey, you. I don't think I've ever seen a female mercenary. Well, if you can't deal with our village's problems, then what do I care? What do you need? Varen didn't tell you we didn't have capable mercenaries in Osbrook for quite a while, so there's a lot to deal with. Bands, colts, the undead, lots of places around here attract filth like that. We don't have many guards, so I can't afford any of them dying. That's why I need mercenary. Okay, let's get to business then. I have a few contracts available. If you fill a couple of them, then we are even. You'll have your cart and your horses. So what do you say? I have... I only have one contract for you at the moment. Alchemy kit. Interested? Sure. 
Not so long ago, we had an odd merchant passing through our land. Somehow he managed to stumble upon brigands from the tower near Vust. He paid them off and got away with his life, but he had to wave his goods goodbye. Among other things, he was transporting a set of unique vials for some very important person. The merchant told me that if his employer learns about his, the missing delivery, he is done for. Perhaps you could help the poor fellow out. He promised to pay his savior well. Oh, I have a visitor. Oh, yes, hello. Do you need to, do you need to tell people about the world? Yes, okay, here's my cat. Say hello to, hey, say hello, kitty cat. Okay, now she doesn't have anything to say. Uh, all right, so be it. Good, that's settled. Give me your map, I'll mark the location. You have four days to deal with it and claim your reward. Oh, and you're covered in all kinds of filth from outside. Wonderful, yay. Just what I want, a filthy kitty cat on my lap. Mm. All right, I need to ask something else. Actually, I don't. Well, what are you selling? Spirit Dark Ale. Okay, well, I'm done. Let's go outside. Boop. And here we are. We came out this door and down the stairs. Let's go talk to these jabronis. I'm not going to talk to all of them. Like, I'm not one of those people who, like, talks to everybody in town anymore because, like, I kind of worked that out on my system as a kid. Like, now I'm just like, let me play the game. Bah, a mercenary, fresh from the road. If you hear something loud, it's probably the cat rubbing the mic. Um, fresh from the road, let me give you a piece of advice. Stick with me and you'll be rolling in gold in no time. Stick with you? How so? What do you propose? I have business offer to you. The previous mercenary used to bring me all kinds of wares, and I paid him generously for them. Everyone was happy with that deal, so how about you and I have the same arrangement? What did he sell you? Whatever he could find. You know how it is with mercs, trophies, booze, trinkets. I strongly believe that everything has its use. Everything can be sold as long as you have some business sense. You'll get ahead in life. I've got plenty of wares. I can get anything you need. Well, do you have any work for me? There's an opportunity for profit. I met an elf at Burn Market who urgently needed a bison pelt. And a, please do not do that. And a pair of horns. He promised a huge amount of money in return. He didn't say what he needed those things for, but what he what does it matter as long as he pays? You bring me a bison pelt and horns, I'll share my money with you. We have more than enough beasts wandering the nearby steps, and I bet you are a skillful hunter. <laughs> well, you bet wrong, buddy. Uh, I'm sure you'll manage. So, deal? Deal. We're totally not doing that. We are not a hunter. We have absolutely nothing we can do, but you know what? It doesn't hurt to take the quest anyway. Uh, ugh, what kind of goods are you... S uh, no, I already got that one. I wanted to ask, what are you selling? Okay. Hmm, a gray crab. Interesting. Uh, let's put on our staff. What's this? An enchantment scroll? Okay. Well, I don't see anything here. Remarkable. Disenchant. An identification. Might need that identification scroll later. Goodbye. Let's go over here. Oh, I wanted to talk to you. Well then, tell me what you need. Do you have any work for me? Here's the deal. Odor made, ordered me to forge a bunch of new swords for our guards. However, I can't bring myself to waste good iron on them. So they don't even dare to step outside the village. What the hell do they need good swords for? So that's what I have in mind. Bring me some junk swords. I'll fix them up and put them to use. Cleavers, falchions, and other crude simple blades will work the best. Three of them should be enough. I'll pay you much more for that crap than you'll usually get. Deal. All right. Um, can you teach me something? Maces. I've changed my mind. Yeah, so some of these guys, they can teach you alternate skills, cross skills, but, I mean, I'm not going to be fighting if I can help it. Um, see you later. Well, what kind of goods are you looking for? Goods, pretty much anything. Food, booze, gold. It's only reasonable to have some supplies these days. I'll also purchase quality materials if you have any. But what about weapons and armor? I don't mind selling some trophies. I can imagine what kind of trophies you may have. Just some broken junk. I'll buy it off your hands, but only for cheap. You can find heaps of that stuff in every ditch. There isn't much use for broken equipment. It's not worth fixing, and there aren't many people around willing to buy. Even if I melted it, it still barely covers the effort. Magistrate wants things new and shiny, so we rarely have mercenaries like you in our parts. Still, if you find an item in good condition, bring it here. I'll have a look. So that's the thing, is uh, high-quality stuff. Let's go ahead and drink. Um, high-quality stuff uh... Well, what am I trying to say? Not high-quality stuff. Um, depending on the merchant, the amount of money they'll give you for various goods changes. It's a little... It's interesting, but also a little annoying. Because um, you got to, like, min-max if you want to get max gold. 
And who the hell are you? Ah, another mercenary. Well, isn't this a surprise? And a woman on top of that. The host have mercy. Anyway, I hope you'll manage to survive a bit longer than our last hero. What do you want from me? Do you have any work for me? What do you think you can even help me with, kid? Although, yes, I may have a task for you. Have you ever hunted for a, bear, a kitty cat? You're about to fall off my lap, and then it's going to be painful for both of us. Okay. I don't understand. I don't understand how you have such bad sense. Uh, anyway, uh, I'm asking because I need a bear pelt. That damn oaf village visiting our village decided that his cloak has to be lined exclusively with bear fur. What are we, we'll find out who he's talking about later. Uh, what are we even supposed to do? We are small people. When ordered, we bow and promise to do as we're told. Do it how? Cat, please, do not fall off. If you're going to be on my lap, then take responsibility for your own, your own positioning. Okay. When ordered, we bow and promise to do as we're told. Do it how? Now, that's an entirely different matter. I'll pay through the nose for that pelt. I'm also eager to see how you'll manage. Maybe you'll, you aren't that bad after all. So, what do you say? Deal. All right, and what are you selling? So I'm not gonna take any of that stuff. Uh, fumble chant, like that's good, but it also eh, it doesn't take up that much. Crimson headband. No. Town shoes. Cat, come on, come on. Uh, riding boots. Okay, she decided to leave. Good riddance. <laughs> um, we're fine with that. Uh, I don't know. I, we could get the leather belt. It doesn't give us any protection. It does reduce the cost of skills slightly. I think I'm not going to buy anything just yet. I mean, I need more protection, really. But her mantle is better than this stuff anyway. So, off we go. Okay. Next, let's go over here. Let's talk to this guy. Carpenter's Workshop. Hey, you. Hello there. Are you one of them mercs the entire village has been bustling about all day? Good to have you here. Maybe you'll bring some order at last. Waiting for order to do something about this waste is a waste of time. Doesn't the village have guards maintaining said order? Who do you call guards? Each of them is still wet behind the ears, or even worse, is way too long in the tooth. I'm telling you, they'll all be slaughtered come the real fight, something that Odor doesn't care about. Anyway, we used to have more than enough lads in Osbrook. Now they're either dead in the ground or serve under someone else's banners. Uh, we barely have any able-bodied men left in the village right now. It's just me, the smith, and a couple more lads. You need something fixed? Uh, he does not have any work for us to do. Uh, what are you selling? Mm, pilgrim staff. One sacred. This is better, but I can't afford it. I can't afford it by 40. Oh, I could sell this for 39. Oh, dude. Really? Well, I'm not going to worry about it for now. I'll probably find something better eventually. Uh, let's see. I see you were not fond of the Elder. Why would I be fond of that tyrant? Why do you think he even became Elder? Just to sit in his attic, never take a step outside, not care in the world. He spends his entire day at his desk, makes himself look important, all puffed up like a toad, and he eats and drinks for three men. So I've been telling folks to open their eyes to what kind of Elder he is. A mooch who lives at our expense. Wouldn't be too bad if he were one of us, a local, but no, he's an outsider, a stranger. Odor isn't a local? Where is he from? Elvino. Uh, now he lives off us. And there is no getting rid of him without angering his patrons. Not to mention how vindictive he is. The moment something doesn't go his way, he makes one's life a living hell. We used to have this lad. Dwar was his name. Thought it was a good idea to talk back to Odar. Well, guess where he's now. But I never told you this, deal. So I have to suck up to Odar unless I want to be the next one to be dealt with. And I still want to live. You should stay away from him as well if you know what's good for you. I'm sure he puts half the reward in his own pocket, only paying you mercs, the host willing, a half of what you are owed. What happened to Dwar? What, Dwar? I'm telling you, you didn't hear anything from me. Must be imagining things. Interesting. Goodbye, Mr. Negative. Mr. Negativity? He's got nothing nice to say. Can't say anything nice, don't say anything at all. Herbalist's house. 
Did you try applying flea wart? Uh, do you have any work for me? My back is killing me. If I don't do anything about it now, in a couple days I won't even be able to get up from bed. And I still have work to do. Help an old man. Go out to the forest and pick some fresh herbs. The dried stuff I have here won't do. So here's what I need for ointment. A tuft of spearmint, a tuft of flea wart, and a couple leaves of agrimony. Got it? If you bring it all here, I'll share some of my supplies with you. Deal. Not feeling well? Well, what are you selling? Well, we are going to buy a splint right away because we'll need that. And we'll buy bandages because we will probably need that. And that is it, I think. Pain resistance. Burnett, huh? We ought to be able to find that on our own. Okay. Goodbye. So, that's what we're going to start with. We're going to go look for herbs. Because it's pretty easy. Um, the spearmint, I think, is the hardest. And I think to find that, we actually need to go out into the plains. So. We are going to look for it. Let's take a look at our map. Well, that's where our quest is. We got four days. We got plenty of time to get to it. Moral is food. No herbs. Well, there's our flea wart. And we need agrimony. Ooh, blueberry bush. Yes. Ooh, ooh. Okay, seal of power. This go up to right. Okay. More power. Shock damage is up. Okay. Oh, we stunned him. Good. We are out of energy. He's running away. We do not have energy. Now we do. Gotcha, come on. Ooh, okay. I will take your spiked club. Where did he go? There he is. Let's do it again. Now I don't have energy. Did I waste this? I did. Brilliant. Well, this guy's almost dead. Good. Chase him down. All right. Well, that is done. We did not get any uh, stuff that we need. Let's just eat the blueberries. Boop. See, eating the blueberries gets rid of your thirst. Thank you. Aren't there some more blueberries here? Oh, uh, they're gone. Oh, there's some here. It's raspberry. Hmm. Another flea wart. I will take it. The reason I will take it is because flea wart can be used for healing. I am. Oh, there's the agrimony. 
now we just need to find that elusive spearmint. Where is it? I cannot tell you. But I can tell you, dear viewer, that we will resume the hunt in the next episode. Uh, I hope you're interested in this game. I know it's a bit of a slow start going through the dialogue in the village. I try to do only the what I think is kind of important dialogue. Um, anyway, uh, I will see you in the next episode, and I hope you uh, will join me then. Until then, bye-bye.